Hey everybody, how's it going? Tarek here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. Today we're going to be doing a um, cane run. I decided to do a cane run uh, instead of doing a random because, well, if I do a cane run, I'm more likely to be better off with cane's advantages to get a good run, a decent run. One which we can hurry up and get Polaroid, and then we can progress on to being able to fight Blue Boy after defeating Isaac. Now, it's been... Ah, oh, see? straight up what I wanted PhD with Kane all I need now is safety cap and I'm set for pills I'll get decent pills throughout the entire run um, <clears throat> now what I want for uh, this save file is if you remember rightly um, the reason f that I started the uh, new save file is because my previous save file uh, became corrupt unfortunately granted it, I wasn't even pleased with it because uh, I'm gonna go with this one and then we'll do the blue block in the other room Give me a oh, give me monies. Okay, that's fine. Um, I wasn't pleased with it because there were some problems I lost uh, well, there was some glitch uh, Items and I didn't have full items, but I, I had full items pretty much um, And it was it was pretty frustrating. That I couldn't do anything about it um, But that was the only good thing that well the only advantage to uh, losing my save was because I was able to start a new one and uh, not have to worry about um, my previous save being all uh, poopy with items. But the only downside to that is that you have to start again, um, which is what we're doing here. And uh, we're not doing too bad, to be honest. Especially uh, this past, like, two weeks, I think, of me playing. I've been having good runs. I mean, get back into the swing of things. I've been streaming the game, if you haven't... Um, been able to watch that. I apologize. I do stream at sort of random times, but they mostly between the hours of uh, 9 p.m. GMT and uh, 12 or I'm, I'm talking about when I start rather I start about 9 p.m. GMT or midnight GMT um, I have since been to uh... Sorry, I'm a little stuffy um, since I went to America uh, on the west coast, I it's really clear how apparent um, My upload times are very irregular in the sense that My main subscriber population is in America, right? So I need to upload for the the mass population if you un if you understand what I mean um, I can't really upload in GMT uh, anymore, so I'm, I've decided that from now on I'm going to upload in Central Time, um, which means that there is, uh, I believe it's a six hour difference. Um, so when I would normally upload, what I normally would do would be upload a uh, video at three. Uh, this is GMT by the way, this is what my usual schedule would be. It would be 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and midnight. That's when I'd usually upload videos. <clears throat> that, for Central, is just a no-go, you know, because... And for Western, don't even get me started on it, there's an 8-hour difference. So, uh, 3 p.m. is fucking 7 o'clock in the morning, you know? So, no one is around on the West Coast able to watch anything that I upload. Um, at seven o'clock, like everyone's going to work or they're going to university, college or school or whatnot. No one's going to be around. So what I have decided to do, I think is a sensible option um, in changing the upload schedule. Um, God damn it, I'm getting my butt kicked here. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. Tell me what you think. I, I think it's, you can't please everyone. That's, that's the deal here. But if I'm able to please the mass population, then I'm going to do that instead, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the, um, it, it, it helps. It helps with, I've noticed the difference in views. The views increase when I do it like this, and that's definitely something that has been affected on my channel for the longest time. The views just aren't cutting it lately, uh, which is why I was streaming a shit ton more, because I needed to get more earnings, because I wasn't able to pay rent. 
Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, I gotta I gotta work my hardest on sorting out uh, the plan, the schedule, making the most out of uh, the channel, and uploading as much quality content as I can. Squeezy. Um, you know, so it's it's like it's very important. Even though some of you be like, I, I no, I know I know there's a lot of you that watch my videos. There's not as much as others, but I know there's a lot of you that aren't stupid in the sense that you're competent enough to understand and appreciate um, how one needs to work for their earnings. And this is my work, you know. This is how I earn. This is how I put food on the table for me, you know, and um, there's nothing wrong with talking about um, ways of increasing uh, money. Um, like some people have, when I've talked about how I earn money on this, on, on my YouTube channel and, uh, oh, damn it, on, or on Twitch, I've had people in the past, just ignorant people, just like say, oh, you're selling out, doing this, doing this. Which is a very stupid, ignorant thing to say. Um, and I appreciate um, that not everyone fully understands it, but still, um, there are uh, the majority of you fully understand what I, um, uh, the processes that involve like living um, uh, independently, you know, paying your bills. Paying for food, paying rent, you know, I'm sure there's a, a handful, a big ass handful of you that are in the exact same situation that I'm in. Um, and they're just scrapping by, you know, it sucks. It sucks because everything is so fucking expensive, you know, and, and, and it's it, what makes it worse is that it's like as soon as you get paid, everything, the government just takes it away from you. Uh, Housing takes it away from you. Gas, electricity takes it away from you. All your hard work. And it's like, well, fuck, you know, when do I ever get, like, when am I gonna get a fucking break? Uh, it seems like I've been on the skin of my teeth ever since I left university. Actually, ever since I fucking went to university. Feels like I've been on the skin of my teeth that entire time. I haven't had a break. I would love for a break, you know? I would love for something to come up. Just the opportunity to just, like, make a lot of money and just be like, ah, oh, you know what? I can rest easy for a while. I can pay my rent without having to worry of like, shit, I got a budget, a budget the, the rest of this month for food. You know, I want one month, one month where I can just like buy whatever I want food wise and not have to worry about, shh, well, I can't have this because this is a bit too expensive. And that means that my third week, I'm going to be minus uh, 20 pounds. I want to buy red wine. I want to buy red wine and I want to have red wine with some steak or some lamb. I haven't had red wine in such a long time because it's a, it's a luxury. It's not a necessity. I, I've, I've talked about that so many times in my videos, I'm sure. A lot of you may be uh, sick to death of me even bringing that up. But it's a valid point, you know, it's something that you have to do as an adult, as an, a responsible adult. Uh, measure whether something you want is something that you need, or it's something that can wait until you can afford to, to uh, want it, to, to need it, sorry. If you know what I mean, like, it's, 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 uh, it's a shitty situation because when you have the money for something, but it you know that you need to, like say you gotta pay rent in 10 days, that's when you have to pay it. But you have more than enough money for rent and uh, something very nice, but if you get something very nice, then it means that you lose out on something that you need. It's just, it's buds, it's total buds. It's total, total buds. Um, but yeah, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that drooling conversation. So. Yesterday, oh man, I had, I was, I was like in a Skype call with Tay. I, I had a gig yesterday, by the way, if you didn't, didn't realize. It went really well. I played at, uh, in, uh, at a, a, a pub called The Roundabout in Plymouth. And, uh, it, there weren't that many people there. It was more friends of the bands and all the bands. So we were like playing to each other, um, which sucks, but it was whatever. Like, I still had a good time. Um, I was still quite a few people there. Um, <clears throat> but we played 
I saw a second gig, and there was it was a lot of good responses. Like uh, even one of the other bands was like, "That was your second gig. Like you sound so much better than us, and we've done like 20 gigs." So that was good to hear. Very nice to hear. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a bomb here. I'm just gonna get this 15, and then um, we'll go in the store, and then we'll see whatever, see what, see what they got in the store. Um, but yeah, we played the gig, and and it was good, and uh, went out after, uh, came back. And uh, I was just, like a little bit drunk, um, and I was talking to Tay. Like she was streaming um, with her friend Tyler, um, who I met when I went to America, and um, she was streaming Isaac. And I just came into the call and whatnot. Anyway, after that, we started looking at these cool videos. Like, um, oh shit, I forgot that I, had. I just bought ladder and I forgot that I had. Fucking annoying. Anyway, we started looking at these cool type of videos, like. Uh, Top 10 like creepiest places on earth or top 10 uh, most abandoned places or, or I don't know Shit like that dude. It was cool. There was a lot of cool stuff and it was interesting really interesting shit anyway We started looking at some creepy shit for not creepy pasta um, But stuff that was like scary and now I don't know if you know blame truth or not, but like, Blame Truth is a one, he's like one of the the first YouTubers that was around that did uh, playthroughs and shit. He did Pokemon, he did Call of Duty. Um, he's like, he's been around for the longest time. Um, anyway, I don't know if anyone knows of him, or if they do knows of something that he went through. Basically, he went through a creepy time where um all the videos of it have gone down but basically some shit went down with this pokemon um it's really weird i can't explain it because i don't fully understand it myself but if you just watch the videos like if you search blame truth uh pokemon blue creepy you'll find it but it won't be under his channel because the videos were taken down now we had just been watching all this weird stuff and I was getting weirded out and I don't normally get scared but like Tay um, She's a bit of a sad like she's she's a bit of a girl like she'll she get scared quite easily um, Which I like um, because I can scare her stuff, but I Rarely get scared like by scary films and stuff because a lot of the times I don't find them scary um, I find them just like, you know, okay. I, it's a jump scare, but it's not scary I'm not like going to bed like uh, I'm waking up and like having the worst nightmares that I want. I haven't had that since I was a little kid. Anyway I Got scared last night for the first time in the longest time. Okay, and it was not because of uh, Pokemon or A game being creepy or whatnot. It was it was because of this build-up, right? So we were looking at like um Ghost stories and 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 places that are haunted and whatnot and and Tay was like, oh yeah, we should. When you come over next, like we'll take you to this. I'll take you to this uh this abandoned like hospital. And it's really creepy. And and I was thinking like, oh I like I've been to two abandoned buildings in my life. One was like a warehouse. And um, one was a. Uh, one was a, um, what's it called? It was just like a random ass building. Um, but next to it, like, in, in, within it was like, uh, there were like people sleeping and stuff. And when we went in there, it was because I was at university at the time. We went in there and like, we had to pick up weapons and stuff because we were afraid for like a safety. Um, and, um, that was that wasn't really the scary part. It was the fact that like, you know, this is very dangerous. We could get seriously hurt or something like that and and um, So we were wandering around that for a while and that was like the, the latest time that I've been in a, 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 an abandoned place um, Die you bitch. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on this at the same time as talking and When I was at high school because that abandoned house was in uh, in, uh, when I was at university. When I was in high school. Ooh. Um, 
I'll tell you what, I'm not going to take any of this. When I was in high school, um, I went to an abandoned warehouse, is what I was just saying. And it was really weird because, like, this warehouse was... Um, had the biggest rooms I've ever seen. You know if you've been to, like, Wembley or something? It was like that. It just, like, it went on. The rooms went on and on and on for the forever. It was really strange. I've never seen anything like it. And it was like an abandoned uh, car manufacturer or something. <clears throat> and again, we had to, like, we felt scared because there was, like, needles in some parts. And, like, there was obvious signs of people living there. And, and so we, uh, with the group of friends I was with at the time, we picked up, like, bits of stick or, like, a, a metal pipe. So we would feel better. Um, and um, so this whole build-up that... Uh, we had given ourselves of creepy stuff and uh, scary stories and whatnot was just it was getting to me and then Tay tells me that her her aunt worked on a uh, decommissioned uh, US Navy aircraft carrier called the USS Hornet right now it it, it was it they used it in World War two uh, let's see what this pill is they used it in World War II. And, um... It was, uh, also the ship that, um, picked up... Fuck, what's that guy? Um, I think it was the first guy that landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong. I think, I think that was what it said. Anyway, it was pretty creepy because, like, apparently it's haunted. And, um... There are things like, uh, what, what, what was creepy about it? The, it was, it was the fact that like, when people like, are walking on the ship or they're exploring, they hear noises that, it, that could be described as like the waves, um, and whatnot or other things. But they also, they, they're like creeps, creepy sounds that, that don't really like make sense. And people have, have reported, like, feeling very cold, randomly. Not because of the temperature, just because, like, it's, like, it's not the room that's cold. It's just walking in and then, like, feeling cold, like, into a, as if you walk through a, uh, if you, as if you walk through some sort of, like, force field that was cold. I don't believe in stuff like this. Like, I've never really been... I'm very skeptical when it comes to something that I can't see. If this, if I can't see it, then I don't really believe it, you know? That being said, like, I believe in, like, say, black holes or um, radiation and shit like that. Um, but I'm talking about, like, the paranormal or uh, uh, religious factors. Like, um, it, it's something that I don't... I don't... Re I'm very skeptical. I don't believe in it, but I appreciate it. Um, and I respect other people's beliefs. Um, as long as they're not extreme and as long as they don't force them onto me. Now, I want to believe in ghosts. I've always wanted to believe in ghosts. It's just I've never been able to because whenever I've seen people's documents on... Um, uh, ghost stories or... Um, anything like that it's it's it just seems far too well far-fetched you know and it's just hard to believe so this was when last night started getting a bit weird for me um all this talk of all the creepy shit uh was getting to me like i was starting to get a bit weirded out not to the point where i was like oh my god i think there's a ghost in the room um it was just um slightly scary because I was looking at a computer and my back's to my door and I'm wearing like noise cancelling headphones and I couldn't hear so I kept looking behind me I started to be paranoid I started to freak myself out a little bit and then as I was telling you about Blame Truth before we started watching those videos and basically he talks about Pokemon and I forget what town it was but it's in pokemon blue it's like you guys if you play pokemon you'll know which town it is and there's a song that's really creepy when you go in the town and apparently this is what tay was telling me apparently there were reported of like 200 kids suicides because of this like 
It's like Lavender Town or something. I think it's Lavender Town. Anyway. Apparently there were 200 reported suicides of, of Japanese kill, uh, children. Children. Um, which is... Like, I was like, what? B kids have committed suicide because of this, like, this town? I don't know if that's true or not. Like, uh, it could be could be a much smaller number or it could not be true at all. But, like, this is what, like, like I'm, I I go by what Taya told me because I don't know any anything about this organization. Um, and I it will just as soon as you fucking go into Lavender Town, the music is... Just creepy as fuck. Now, when I watched Blame Truth's video, he talks about how Ditto, apparently there's a Pokemon called Ditto, or the White Hand, whatever. Anyway, it, it like, it, it freaks out or something. It's very strange. You need to watch the video. I can't fully explain it because um, I don't I, I don't know anything about it. Like, when, when I listened to the music, I was like, of Lavender Town, I was like, is that... Lavender Town's music, or is that just a glitch in the game? Because that's really creepy as fuck. Anyway, it's the whole experience just had me in, like, built up this paranoia, and I wasn't in a right place. Like, I wasn't in a, in a good state of mind, uh, and I didn't want to be uh, talking to anyone because I kept, <laughs> I kept thinking like there was like some ghosts or shit in my fucking room. It wasn't nice, and Tay was like not helping at all she was the, she was like making it worse for me i was like okay like i'm legitimately freaked out and scared right now and she's like you'll be fine i'm like are you kidding me is that's all you're gonna say you'll be fine but um no it was funny i went to bed um and uh oh shit. and um it was fine after that but like i don't know i haven't really been scared for a while i, I think what i'm trying to say is that like there are there aren't there really things that scare me that much in a sense that like I'm terrified rather than being jump like getting jump scared like there haven't been films that have done that to me and Tay wants to watch The Conjuring apparently that's very scary I it looks quite scary but I'm I'm just hoping that it's gonna make me like not want to go to bed because I'm really kind of scared you know and I don't know we'll see um those type of films have they don't really happen that often anymore and uh, they're either just like stupid scary or the and really bad acting or the generic story and shit like that you know but uh i don't know i'm looking forward to that and but yeah i don't really i was on a massive tangent just then of all this like scary shit and whatnot i apologize oh are you fucking kidding me ah damn it dude that's fucking annoying oh okay nice Oh, gotta concentrate, and I walked straight into that. And I'm losing all of the health that I have. I don't want to die here. That was a very lucky bomb, because that... I could have died. Which means that there's going to be more of those dudes. Which is awesome. Fuck you. We haven't got damage up or anything. We just had vanilla cane with just a bunch of shooting buddies. I don't mind. Just push these fucking. Oh no, we're not vanilla cane. We got speed. Um, I got sneeze. We got fucking squeezy. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Oh wow, I nearly got hit there. And there. I'm so looking forward to dinner after I finish this recording. I have gonna be, I'm gonna be making, see, look at these items, dude, they suck. And I have been not getting pills at all. I have got no trinkets, no pills. Total butts, at least I got a little Chad. He's giving me some health. I'm gonna bit a 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 bit I need some trinkets. That's what I need. I need a safety cap or I need... Uh, what's it called? Uh, curved horn. Oh, curved horn would be nice. Three damage. I think it's three damage. Three or two damage, I forget. Fuck. 
fucking paint, greed hanging head things. What? Get out of here. Oh, a lot of these dudes. Okay. Come here, bitch. There's a little sneaky kill there. <laughs> um, I don't need that full health. I, like, farted with my mouth just then. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Damn it. No, I don't need that. Wait. Fuck you. Fuck you. Die. Oh, a pill. A first pill. A second pill, rather. What is it? What did you do anyway? Balls of steel. Sweet. I know it's going to be good, so... I'll tell you what we haven't been doing. We haven't got ourselves in any stupid situations. We are doing well with maintaining um, a safe path, I guess. I don't know. We haven't really had cl any close encounters to dying, but it's taking a while to kill shit because of our lack of damage. I'm just gonna go and fight mom. That was close. That was very close. I forget we got dead bird, so it's fine if I get hit. Dead bird produces some damage. We lost our balls of steel. We haven't lost any health yet. And we got our balls of steel back essentially, so like we lost one. Oh no, there we go. Balls of steel, what's this? Balls of steel again. Flat penny, a coin, death. We're good, let's drop down. We got a bunch of buddies following us. We got dead bird, which dead bird's gonna disappear. Oh, we don't have that many. I've had more before, so. But I'm okay with this. I just need some more stat upgrades. Like, I really appreciate Squeezy, but that's it. That's all I've had, and I don't have damage. I've just got plain-ass cane, dude. I'm just glad that... I don't know. I think not sacrificing... Um, oh, well, I'll take you. I think not sacrificing health for Bloodyless. Like, I think that was a good idea. I think I'll take the health over uh, uh, potential insignificant damage. However... I can appreciate now how it would have been better, but we would have only had three hearts. I would have died. I would have died in some of the runes. My range isn't even hitting that. I just realized. I would. Yeah, I'm definitely. I definitely would have not made it into some of the rooms. Um. So whatever. That guy just like ran. He didn't even. He wasn't even like aiming at me. Oh, what's this, eh? Oh, pills. So we're gonna go with this one. Speed up. And press to the end. I need a little bit of extra speed. Quickly get rid of those guys. It's all about small movements. With um, dodging, really is. If you uh, if you do too much of a bigger movement, then you're gonna I don't know, make get scare yourself and like hit something that you don't need to. But it's also about speed and knowing where to go and like do you like you have to when you dodge, like shift like this when you got nematodes and you got to worry about these he heads shooting at you too. You have to make a path. So you have to follow it. You have to get them to follow you. 
um, or else you're gonna like, corner yourself and have yourself stuck in a situation where there's nowhere to go and the only situation is left is to be hurt so you have to like know how to create that like safety path I guess and runes like this are just knowing where not to go like stay away from the middle for sure because a lot of people have been asking me about stuff like that not a lot but like uh, in the past like help me with dodging I mean some guy actually like I've been thinking about it I might do a video on it um, that what I just did was exactly the opposite of what I was talking about I, I did exactly what uh, you shouldn't do um, some guy said if I could do some sort of tutorial or maybe a like a like what to do basics or something I, I don't I it seems like a cool idea I like but it's really the like getting better at the binding of Isaac it's really up to you like this there's can't really be taught the only the only things that I can teach I guess are what I'm showing you right now like the the um the ways I play, uh, what I do, you know, it's like, it's, there's no real like tips other than what I can, what you, what I tell you like about dodging or about, um, knowing when to like back off or knowing like, uh, which directions to go and it's, it's, it's it's like um is that health up again? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's bombs and keys. Oh, whatever. Lost a few bombs. Okay, I didn't mean to do that at all. I thought it was at the bottom. That was because of the fucking shooting buddies that I have. What basically what I'm trying to say is that I can't teach you to be good. You have to. It's all practice. It really is all practice. But a lot of it is um, uh, the, uh, sorry, a little bit of it is is knowing how to play. Which you, which I learned by watching people. And I guess like that's one thing that you learn. It's like you watch other people play this game and then you'll learn how to get better. I, I don't know, dude. I can't really give skills out like in, in a video. I could just give you like the basic tips. So that guy asking, like, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. I, may, I will try and, like, do something along the lines of that, like, like, tutorial of the basics or whatnot. But I don't think it'll be that. Uh, what's it called? Valuable. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, let's fight this last. Wait, there's a, there's a card over here. I know we'll finish going this way. Is this the death card, I think it is? Yeah, we need that. Oh, I got hit. Thank you, little Chad. All right, let's go fight the boss. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be Loki, or it could be someone annoying. This is a very bad run so far. Really, nothing eventful has happened. It's not a bad run. It's just we haven't really got much shit. So slow actually is beneficial here, but also bad. Damn it! Ah! Why didn't it kill it? What the fuck? There you go. More health up. See, this is what I'm talking about. I keep getting health up. Fucking dumb. It's a pure health, like, like, tanky build so far. Oh, look at these wraths. I'm gonna give you both the death. That little bit of damage against you. Oh, look at this. Jewel bombs right here. Jewel bombs. Oh, fuck. He fucking wedged me. Ah, oh, thank you. Ow! Son of a bitch. Dead bird getting the fucking damage through. Look at that. What a beast. Alright, 
what's in here? Money? No. I care about that. What's in here? No, not worth it. Do do do. Really want my gamepad to be more efficient. Fuck you. But dodging is really just, that's the practice part of this game. And setting off chains like that is just fun. But some of it, it just seems to be like common sense and shit like that. I'm no expert, by the way. I'm definitely not an expert. I'm bad at the game in comparison to say like Cobble Streak or um, Lethal Frags. So anything I say could be total shit in comparison to what they could say to me, uh, to you. Shit, I didn't get to heal. trying to use my fucking fly in this situation there you go we're gonna use uh gonna go in here thank god i was so hoping for one of these all right we got a death card a world card soul heart okay there's a big ass floor Nope, definitely not taking Cut Skull. Give me a useful trinket. I mean, at this point, if there's no valuable trinket, I will take Tick. I nearly used my death card then. Because... If, 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 if it doesn't give me something like, say, I don't know. Like, so far it's giving me shit that's good for starting up, but nothing... Nothing really useful. See? Push pin. I don't want to get tick and then just like have some like curved horn pop up. That's the only problem. So I'm just going to stay behind. I'm not going to check any of these cards. Because I could. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want to pick up shit. Stop picking up stuff. There's curved horn. See, I knew it would pop. I'm going to take the Empress. So I'm just going to leave. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep going for a bit. Let's see if I can get more soul hearts. But now we got Koton, which is three extra damage. I really don't wanna. Oh, with Koton or Cancer? No, I'll take Koton. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't wanna risk losing like any more uh, money or losing Koton, because Koton is very, very valuable. I'll take that. I'm not going to take any damage from this room. Guaranteed. Watch this. Watch this shit. I assure you, no damage will be, ta will be taken. Can you just die, please? You stupid son of a bitch. There you go. You pooped at the last second. <laughs> oh, I didn't get a bomb in time. I want this bomb. Ah, oh, fuck! Damn it! I got hit by. Don't know what hit me actually. The bomb? Or was it? I think I walked on the floor. The dirt, the blood floor. Whatever. 
Whatever, that was good. I kept my, uh, what's it called? <sighs> Eternal Heart. I've still got Empress for Isaac fight. Come on, hit a, hit a little geek shit. There we go. Right, let's get the fuck away from you. He's a bastard when he, he spams his fucking shot. Look, problem with uh, Greed is that his 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 um, shots come out very quickly. Like, they hurt and they, like, he shoots them fast. And it's a bitch, like, if if you get hit and you really don't want to be losing health in this, this part of the floor. I don't need 10 bombs, so that's not worth taking. Shame, it could have been an, an actual usable item, but uh, no worries. We're just going to carry on as if nothing happened. It's a decent run to the end. It's this was a steal. I'll take that right now. I don't want to lose health. I'm gonna use gamepad here. I only use gamepad there because I didn't want to um, risk. There's a lot of explosions in there. Could have had a lot of damage or just one big damage, you know. Um, so I took that risk there. Uh, of yeah, fucker, of using gamepad, but whatever. Oh. I don't think Gamepad does that much damage to Isaac to begin with. Come on, switch. You fucker. It's irritating. Okay, well... Uh, I'm gonna carry on going this way. Oh, well, there's Isaac, so I'm gonna go this way. Uh, half heart. Half heart, so we can take one damage before we lose it. I'm not gonna risk losing all of my health. So, if I get hit in any of these rooms, I'm just gonna head back for the fight. What's that? It's balls of steel, isn't it? Oh, it's bombs of keys. May as well. Uh, okay, so I, I can afford. Oh! I can afford taking one hit still. He's really weak. Like that's that's one thing I noticed. He his his attacks, his health. Sorry, is look, look he's almost dead. See, and then he t he fucking periods everywhere. <laughs> I like him. He's a funny boss. Um, but his his. <laughs> His health sucks. So I don't know why he's on this floor. It's weird for him to be on this floor. In my opinion, I would put someone more damaging, like say Loki as a... Uh, no, well Loki does come on this floor. Who could you replace him with? I don't know. Random empty room. Ah! Okay, it was one hit. So I, after this floor, after this room, I have my gamepad, and I can take, I can afford to take one more hit, so let's see what's, sucks. Don't like this. Oh, damn it. Okay, so, I, not what I wanted, but I effectively have, you know, I could, I could, oh, what's going on? Okay, I was expecting one of these to be a blood room. Um, okay, I could. Let's take this. Let's go down here, because it might be... Yeah. It'll be fine. Oh, that was close. Can one of these please just slow, please? Thank you. Oh, we got... What's in here? What's in the box? What's in the box? We got geishas. Damaging geishas. Let's be careful. Oh, we got a health. Sweet. So I can afford to go for a bit longer. Another health. So we can finish this floor. Just have to be really careful. I can't use gamepad because I'm saving that for uh... son of a bitch. 
I'm saving that for the Isaac fight. There's a half heart. <laughs> Look at you, you're really good at fighting. He's a really shit boss. This brimstone is really lame. Once you know that you have to just do this to fight him. Oh, and he's jumped. He jumped. Why did you jump? You son of a bitch! Why did he jump when I was like around there the entire time? Tell you what, I'm gonna go in circles around him. Use my blue fly to take damage. Oh, it's a give damage rather. Yeah, use your brimstone attack, bitch. You're dead. Oh, no, you're still alive. Yeah, now you're dead. Okay, so we cleared the entire floor. I got my health back. Uh, we lost our balls of steel. No big deal, though. Um, there's the 10 bombs, which we're not going to take. I have Empress. I have a full use of gamepad. 37 bombs, I mean, with 8 hearts, I think it's doable. I'm just gonna go in with Empress and then use Gamepad first, and then drop bombs all over the place, and hope that... Okay, that didn't really do much damage, but whatever. I think, yeah, we got this. He's already at 2 thirds health. have to be careful i say yeah we got this but we could die we've only got four more hits left before three more oh shit i think i spoke too soon yeah i think i spoke too soon one more and then we're dead i spoke too soon oh well well that's the end of this run yeah ah that's stupid i don't know what just happened i think maybe i used gamepad too early i should have used it later on Oh well. Still, that was a good run, and it was kind of difficult too because of all the, uh, like, well, look, look at our items. We had Lucky Foot, PhD. We got a Cuban meat, which stayed Cuban meat, by the way. We got Squeezy, um, the attack fly, a defending fly. We got Ladder, which I think several times I forgot about. Health up, little Chad, Ghost Baby, little Geesh. Dead bird, box, health up, gamepad. No damage whatsoever on there. The only damage I had was curved horn. Um, altogether, it was really um, like a very box standard vanilla run. So in my opinion, I think that was a good, ch a good go at uh, the run in regards to what we had. So I hope you enjoyed it uh, regardless. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, get the fuck out of here and get on my level. Oh, stretch, motherfucker. Ugh.